Hello everyone. Welcome to my GP playlist and today we are going to solve a question from Code Forces. This question is vacations and uh, what essentially the question says is that so there is a sequence of um, there is a sequence of days in which a particular person can choose to do either either the gym or solve a question or take a rest right but uh, as per the constraints of the question if the person has done gym on a day n he would not do gym on day n plus one similarly if the person has solved a problem on a day n he would not solve the problem on day n plus one which means on consecutive days he would not do the same thing he would not repeat it but the person can also rest and he can rest for consecutive days that's that is fine so what we need to do now is given given a set of combinations we need to find out what is the minimum number of days that the person vasya will have to rest okay and there are some configurations given wherein if if the day if the value of the day is equals to zero it means that the person vasya has to essentially take a rest because the gym is also closed and the contest is not carried out if it is one it means that the gym is closed but the contest is carried out but the gym is open but the contest is not carried out and if it is three it means that both the gym is open and the contest is carried out so the person has to make a choice as to what he wants to do either he wants to do a gym or he wants to do a contest or something like that okay and then uh, we have been given we have been given a configuration so number of days is equals to four and uh, all the choices that the person Vasya has on the day ayat has been given so let us see so let us see for this uh, first example which is or uh, let's let's take second example one three three two one two three so this is one three three two one three three I'll just confirm this so one three three two one two three so two one two three actually so what what should be the minimum number of uh, rest days that the person was to take is what we have to find out here so let us see the the person is at okay so and zero means rest one means that one means that contest is happening so one is contest two is gym and three is gym or contest right and he can take rest on any of the day so on a on a day ayat on the day first so he starts with the vasya he starts with on the on the day when he has two choices either he can take rest or he can actually solve a problem he can give contest right so let's call rest as zero so the configuration is zero or this is one okay and on so now on second day if he has already solved the contest if he has already solved the contest he cannot solve the con solve the contest so he has two options now either he cannot take rest right or he can go to gym which is two go to gym right or if he has already taken rest then he has three options which means he can take rest or he can go to uh, he can give a contest or he can go to gym right and now if you if you look at it this presence of zero this presence of zero here right and in similar ways or let us let us actually solve this to a little more extent actually okay so let's go let's go a little further right so if if we go here it's again zero so he has three choices zero one and two which is to actually go to gym right if he has solved a problem then he cannot solve the problem which means the choices are zero two and if he has gone to gym then the choices are zero one right and again zero one two and if and zero and one now if you see this whole this whole thing is repeating again and again this zero one two is here zero one two is here zero one is here zero one is here so there's there are redundant problems that we are solving here right so this zero is also here this two is getting repeated multiple times 
so it it gives an indication that there are multiple redundant problems that we are solving in this question that we probably do not need to solve for right and again what impacts what are the variables what are the variables the first variable is day index right on what day it is so <clears throat> it is that day index is because so this was some nil date this was some zeroth day this was first day and based on the value of either based on the previous value whether or based on the value of ith day whether he has taken a rest he has gone to gym or he has gone to uh, give an give a contest decides the value that can be possible for vasya for the following day right so the other other guy which actually impacts is the activity done right let's call it some something something a okay for the time being now as per the question if we look into the question then the number of days are actually 100 it is smaller than equals to 100 so we know for sure that i is going to range from 0 to 100 so we will keep the variable as 105 now there is a little difference here now what is the what is the range of the variables that's there for activity then this is not in our previous uh, videos we have seen that there are two pointers on the same array there are two pointers one start from the beginning and one starts from the end so the range of both the variables both the pointers are exactly the same however in this case activity done can only have three values right it can only have either a rest or a contest or gone to gym right so we can actually keep the value as 3 now this becomes now that so our our memoization variable is actually dp of 105 comma 3 okay it's a two dimensional array array so 105 this indicates uh, the number of days that can happen and this indicates the activity that was done on a particular day okay cool now with this in place this information in place it actually becomes easy to solve the question so the way we will solve the question is today i am not going to write code i'll just write pseudo code using my pen so we will declare a variable int dp 105 and 3 and let's declare a function called int minimum rest days okay and the first variable we are simply going to take in we are simply going to take in the vector that was the input the second is the length the length right the third guy is the index of the day okay which is i and let's say the last guy is the activity done or let's call it last okay so we are taking these uh, these uh, variables and out, out of these out of these parameters these guys are variables right upon which we have to work and these guys are constant okay so what do we do first what do we do first uh, if you are working on recursion the first thing that we do is we write base conditions so the first base condition is if i is greater than equals to length return 0 right the second condition is if dp of i comma last is not equals to minus 1 return dp of i comma last so this actually means that so this line here this line here means that we have seen and solved the problem right so we are not repeating the solution for that problem now we come to the core algorithm so the core algorithm goes something like this now this is very simple actually so if vector of i equals to equals to 0 then which means that 
the current day in the current day we are taking the rest right so there is no no choice that we have so we can only take rest so dp of i comma last equals to min rest we pass v we pass length we pass so i i becomes i plus one and last becomes zero because we are taking a rest here plus one because this is number of rest increase increase number of rest right okay now else if else if v of i equals to equals to one which means that there is a contest happening right so what happens in this case in this case it now depends so it so essentially what it means is if last equals to equals to v of i which means on the last day we did exactly the same thing that we are doing today right if this is the case then we have to essentially take rest so dp of i comma last equals to minimum rest v length i plus one comma and today we are taking today we are taking rest so it will be zero plus one and if this is not the case then else so else will go here dp of i comma last equals to minimum rest v comma length i plus one and because we are giving contest we give a one and we do not add anything here we do not add anything in the end right in similar ways else if v of i equals to equals to two right so which means that day is gym today so we write more or less exactly what we have written here so this is what goes in here right but instead of uh, instead of instead of passing this passing this one instead of passing one we will pass two okay so i am not going to write that condition now the last condition is actually interesting which is if else v of i equals to equals to three now if you have taken rest which means uh, this is gym or contest right now if you have already taken rest it is okay to take rest again so we are not going to consider that scenario but what we are going to consider is int a equals to last equals to equals to one which means if we have given a contest in the last day we actually cannot give contest again so what we are going to make a is actually the maximum value and if this is not true if this is indeed not true then we are going to call min rest v comma length comma i plus one comma one right and in similar ways int b equals to last equals to equals to two and if if we had uh, gone to gym on the last day then we cannot go to gym on the last day right so this becomes min sorry this is min rest p comma length comma i plus one comma two right so and the value of dp of i comma last equals to minimum of a comma b so this is the and finally from this function we return dp of i comma last so i will leave it for you to think as to why i did not consider uh, consider us taking a rest on the last day so i will leave it uh, leave that upon you to think about it but uh, so this is this is exactly so this is the core logic of the function right uh, what was actually interesting was to figure out this 
memoization variable here right what was interesting was to figure out the length of this uh, and what were the two changing variables we saw it in the graph that we were trying to solve redundant problems again and again right so and once we had we had figured out the memoization variable it was just about writing the code logic and calling the recursive function in the correct way right so we are calling recursive function in the correct way and adding the number of rest days in the at the correct places so yes so this is the code logic i hope so this this uh, this this function this problem was a little different from the previous problems that we have solved uh, in terms of that we had pointers running over different variables and not running over this single array right so i hope that you have liked this video you have understood the problem please keep sharing please keep liking and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much